from our refrigerators to our shelves to the dustbins. Fruits and vegetables, rightly arranged, but at times we fret on what to do with these veggies and fruits once they show signs of rotting or even actually rotting. Most of our markets are now changing into landfills of rotten fruits and vegetables from homesteads. A clear indication on just how Kenyan households waste so much food, while food security remains an issue that needs to be addressed. One would wonder, is there so much food in the farms? If you actually go and look at the market waste, a lot of it is still good food, except there's more coming tomorrow. And so it's being thrown away. But actually, it's very, very good food. We don't, we have to develop a culture in Africa that when the food is about to go bad, rather than we throw it away, we give it to a school, or give it to a children's home, give it to somebody who is going to benefit from it. Cities and rural growth centers are places of rapid economic growth, resulting to an increase in the consumption of resources and generation of waste. But how best can this waste be managed? In Gong, for instance, the Ngong market is throwing away about two tons per day. In a hero market, two tons per day. In the bigger market in Kisumu, um, I'm not sure the name of the market, they are throwing away six tons of, of, of food uh, every, every day. Um, I know in, in, in uh, uh, Ruaraka, Ruaraka market, they are throwing away about, about 10 or 12 tons of, 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 of market waste per day. A market waste is not, if you actually go and look at the market waste, a lot of it is still good food, except there's more coming tomorrow. And so it's being thrown away. But actually, it's very, very good food. Biogas production is an option. Although many are not quite aware of the different ways it can be produced, the modern way, however, is unlimited. And biogas is a very easy way to do it because now you can use the food, Io Haijaoza, you chop it small and then you dry it and you have a value added product is going to is going to last maybe six months maybe one year maybe one and a half years uh, so you can do dried banana dried bananas dried mangoes dried pineapple dried apples dried uh, tomatoes skooma all of these things can be dried and then they store and you don't need refrigeration for for storing them you just store them in a dark space <laughs> According to Dominic, there are many ways to treat agri-food waste. Recycled markets should be introduced so that no waste is lost. So we want to set up the recycled markets. We're at the point of, of, of generation. Where is the garbage generated? Don't move it. Let's sort it out from there. So we'll be working with these garbage collectors who are going around collecting the garbage. They're doing a very important job because they are removing the good plastic. They're removing the good glass. They're removing the good uh, metal, the good, you know, all of the good containers and what have you. They are already recycling 80% of the non-biodegradables. So what does this process of gas collection entail? First, you will need fruits and vegetable waste, which is well mixed and sorted. A crusher is also needed where the crushing process takes place until it's in liquid form. The mixture is then drained in a pipe, which is also an outlet to the balloon, where it stays for about three to five days before use for biogas production.